welcome back to the channel. Um, we are here at the Festival of Quilts again, 2019 in Birmingham. It is Saturday the 3rd of August. Um, I had such a good response from the vlog I did from here last year. So we're here again and um, I'm going to take you with me. Uh, let's have a look at the lovely quilts. Thank you. We were kindly given two free tickets, so we have to fill in some information on the back of the tickets. Thank you to Lisa for my ticket, and also to the kind stranger who we just met outside who gave my husband a ticket as well. So thank you um, for the free tickets. So we're on our way in now. <laughs> thank you. These are cool, I like these. Look at that. It's a sloth. Is it a sloth? Yes, it's a sloth. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I love that. No, I'll just say that. Ooh, that's nice. Isn't it? Mm. I like that. Yeah, they're already exciting. Oh, yeah. This is like sewing cabinet goals right here. Look at that. And it all folds away into a like um it's like a wardrobe I think when it's all folded away. But you can have these tables in like different places and things. It's amazing. One day. Oh, I like those on the back, those woodland animal ones, they're nice. So this is Susan Briscoe Designs. A lot of you will know her from uh, the Sushiko um, books. She's um, a Sushiko ex expert. And she also wrote, she's written a few quilt books. Um, a mini, I've got a mini quilt block book of hers as well. And I think that's Susan there with the blue hair. So these are the Tokyo Quilts, Tokyo International Great Quilt Festival 2019, so I'm, I'm wondering if these are just guest quilts that they've got from the Tokyo show. So let me give you a, if I can, full screen shot of that one. Doesn't tell me who it's Oh, it does. Keiko Morihiro. Um, I'm trying to give you a bit more detail. I think these. Oh, I really need some glasses. I think these are turned applique or. Yeah, I think they are, and I think they might even be hand stitched on. I think this is all, uh, I think these are all turned edges, turned applique edges. Wow. They're definitely hand sewn on because I can see the tiny stitches at the edge. So, I mean, the size of it, that is just a ridiculous amount of work. How anyone would have that patience, I have no idea. I'm in awe. 
of that level of patience. Incredible. Oh wow, I like this one. A homage to Dushikusai. Sorry to any Japanese speaking viewers. My Japanese is not up to scratch. And that is by Reiko Nakahara. Wow, let's have a closer look. So the theme is obviously birds. Wow. Let's have a look. And these all look hand stitched as well. And I think this is even hand quilted. You can see there, they look like hand quilt stitches to me. Wow, it's got some lovely textures on it as well. This fabric here, I have to be careful because we're not allowed to touch them. This fabric here is like, um, it's like a woolen kind of carpety almost uh, fabric. I don't know what I don't know what the actual name for that fabric would be, but yet again, I'm pretty sure. That the you can oh you can see the quilting better on that one. You can see all here. It's definitely done by hand. Wowza. And this is uh, oh this one's second place in the Japan Quilt Grand Prix. Big wave of flowers made of stitched ponji by Kayoko Takeda. Have a close look. Again, this is hand stitched again. Definitely. You can see just there. Wow. Wow. Wow, this is a nice bright one as well. This is Cinnabar Red Joy by Hitomi Mishimi. Oh, and this one first place. Wow. Some really nice textures on this as well, look. Again, hand quilting. Looks like hand piecing. A little bit of trapunto work there. Some embellishments, fabric covered buttons. Some rickrack edging. Wow. Oh, decorative stitches. I think they're, yeah, they're all by hand because you can tell they're slightly irregular. So, wow. I don't even know how people begin to design a quilt like that. I mean, I'm in awe of such creativity. How, where does that idea even come from? I don't, I can't grasp it. It's just incredible. Oh, this one's nice. The little, oh, the town Little Red Riding Hood lives in by Yoko Sakita. Wow. Let's have a look. In the frog, Rapunzel. Oh, wow, so it's all like fairy tales. So there's the princess and the frog. There's my girl. There's Rapunzel. She's my, she's my number one Disney princess. She's the best, and I've met her. We're we're besties, me and Rapunzel. Oh wow, boots. Oh, there's Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, yeah, that might be Sleeping Beauty. Oh, and what were the cats and the the cats and the fiddle and oh, it's Snow White, it's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Um, 
Five, is it five, the Brothers Grimm? Because there's a book there, look, Grimm. So that's the Brothers Grimm. Five, five, five. Didn't they write all those stories? They did write fairy tales. We're more familiar with the Disney versions, but actually, obviously, they're not originally Disney stories. Oh, the Pied Piper of Hamelin. Uh, at the King of the Oh, Murals. the Emperor's New Clothes. Um, I'm sure there's lots more that we're just not picking up on. Again, this looks like the most majority of it is done by hand. Amazing. So these are the two person quilts. So we've got a mariner's compass in the middle of this one. And this is Barbara Gillespie and Francis Meredith. Birds of a feather block together. That's a cute name. Oh and of course it's birds. Birds of a feather. I get it. So this is the judge's choice. Helen Brookham and Sandy Chandler. Oh, that lady made the other one just then. She obviously made more than one. My Cornish Seaside Quilt. Oh, that's pretty. Have they been appliqued on or painted on? I think they're painted. Yeah, I think she's painted this blue here. And then quilted around the edges of the letters. And the same there. That looks like fabric paint. It's a cute one. So we are in modern quilts now. What does that say? Nunu's friend. Looks like the Cheshire Cat. Doesn't it? Oh, I like that circle one. That's quite as pretty. It looks like one of those things that you do at the opticians. See if you're um, colour blind. <laughs> I like it though. It's really I'm cute. Loads of quilting in that. And then they're appliqued on, I think, the circles. It's nice. I like that one. That's very clever. All that quilting. What does it say? If you do, if you do, I can't read it. I'm trying to figure out what it should say. It's actually easier to read through the camera lens than it is in real life. If you do, I don't get it. Did you get it? I can't get it. Okay, so you start in the top left and you read around the outside. It's like um, a yeah, like a spiral, yeah. Oh yeah, I see. I know what it says, but how do you read it? I you see. start in the top left. So if you do, if you don't, if you don't, 
because yeah. it goes around the corner. Uh -huh. Have a, a dream. dream. How are you going to How? Have a dream? Yeah, and it kind of goes country. around in a spiral. South Pacific or something. Yeah. <laughs> She's floating. Yeah, yes, I haven't she seen be. that. No. <laughs> quilting on it it's giving it such a good texture all that dense quilt in there it's really giving it that the texture's amazing isn't it that's really clever and that's all been looks like free motion to me that must have taken hours a big one too. Wow. Oh wow, I like this one. Wow. It's nice. It's really um interesting when you walk around a quilt show because you see how individual everyone's tastes are because you'll hear people say, oh wow, look at that quilt, and you'll look at it and think, mm, yeah, it's nice. And then you'll see one and you'll go, oh, look at that. And then the person next to you will be, you know, not feeling the same way. So it's really interesting <laughs> to see how some designs really appeal to some people and not others. Which is the whole point. That's very clever. It's very nice. I like that one. Nice bright colours. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I like that one. Oh, I think this is my favourite so far. Put some sparkles on it and I'm there. You've won me over. Oh, wow. Look at the little sparkles. Yeah, It makes me want to stick sparkles on my quilts. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, be glued on by hand. Imagine putting all that time into making that quilt, and then when it's finished, you've got to start sticking all those things on. Oh, I like this one. But this is third, third prize. This would have been my winner personally. Chris Harvey and Jennifer Harvey, let it go. Oh, it's so maybe it's a bit frozen inspired because the colours are oh. Anna and Elsa. Oh, yeah, and, they are. yeah, and the snowflakes, yeah. yeah. Wow, just stunning, isn't it? It's a frozen take on various Yeah, yeah. yeah, it yeah. Is. it's very clever. It's fabulous, I love that one. So these are the pictorial quilts.
wonder if the gourmet quilter is here this year. <laughs> oh, they're nice, pretty ones, children. Oh, she is, she's on the end, she's got the same stand, the gourmet quilter. I'm sure many of you watching this will have um, seen the gourmet quilter. There she is. She's always on this corner. Oh, look at that. I like that one. Taste of New Zealand pineapple lumps. I might try one. Oh my god. Oh, they are nice. Mmm. Pineapple lumps are good. So she's brought a taste of her home country to the UK. Oh, they are so good. Oh, we have an Australia quilt. There you go, Amanda. Just for you, this one. Australian Memories by Ruth Wools, does it say? And she's used all kind of tribal looking prints and things. Closer. Little kangaroo. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. When I like peacocks. Oh, that is pretty. Wow, I really like that one. Let's have a close look. Loads and loads of gold th and silver metallic threads in there. The lady who made this has got a lot of patience because Anybody who's worked with these kind of metallic fabrics and metallic threads will know they are a little bit of a pain to work with. They fray, they slip. So to actually make a whole quilt with metallic threads and fabric, you need a lot of patience because they are not easy fabrics to work with. Beautiful, love peacocks. Oh my word, look at this. Oh my gosh, this is Who Was Sarah Monument by Alison Gardner and it is the teeniest, tiniest log cabins I've ever seen. I'll put my finger there for scale. So the centre is actually smaller than my fingernail. So they look like they were three quarters of an inch strips because that looks about a quarter of an inch. Two uh, quarter of an inch seam allowances so I think they were three quarters of an inch strips to start with wow tiny tiny and they look hand stitched if you look closely this sort of slight leg irregularity there and it's just the look that hand stitching gives you can't really describe it but you know, if you're a quilter, you'll know what I mean. You, you can tell. So, if that is hand stitched, wowzer. I mean, even if it's machine stitched, still wowzer because it's so tiny. 
but wow that's incredible the quilting on that is amazing oh I like this one wow it's a cool one Rainbow Sign by Linda Campbell. Love that one. I love me a mariner's compass. And it's got a circle of geese around the edge as well. Love it. Look at all those lovely sharp points. Look at those. Oh. So now we're in the traditional quilts. It's a nice one. It's a big quilt, isn't it? Wow, I like that one. Nice bar jello. Japanese extravaganza. It is, yeah. These fans are not attacked, not part of the quilt, you know, they're sort of separate. Well, they are part of the quilt, but they're embellished on. Oh, and it's got little kimonos at the bottom. Look, can you see? They're meant to be, I think they're meant to be like kimonos. I know they're upside down, but on the top they're the right way up. Like little folded origami kimonos. At the top, along the top there. Aww, it's lovely. I like blue and white quilts. Wow, that is incredible. Wow, sir. Another sparkly one. So, this is Purple Haze by Yvonne McKee, and she has lots of lovely sparkles. It's really difficult to pick them up on camera. You can see if I move the camera, you can be able to see them sparkling. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Lovely quilting. Oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Pretty. Love that one. I've lost my husband. He's too uh, interested in the quilts. <laughs> Today he is sporting my red and white polka dot mini mouse rucksack because when we got out of the car here, his rucksack strap had broken. So and he normally carries all like, the drinks and the heavy things so he's had to carry my rucksack with all the drinks and the heavy things in so there he is looking very dashing in my Kath Kidston Minnie Mouse rucksack but he's not bothered he's a good sport Let's go down here. We've got so many more quilts to look at. This show is absolutely massive. I can't even give you like the scale of it. It goes all the way down to the end there, well past the Janome sign in the distance. And then all the way right down there to that far end. And all the way down there. It is absolutely huge. It's the biggest um, quilt show in the UK and the best in my opinion um, this is the show that most people choose to exhibit their quilts at first so if you go to any of the others between uh, the other shows between now and next August you will often see the some of the quilts again but this tends to be where you see them for the first time so oh wow I love that one. It's like metallic. I need to get a closer look at this one. 
free motion, hand guided, long arm quilt. Beautiful. Wow. Phenomenal. It's like a metallic. I have a long arm. I know what that means. Um, <laughs> fabric. And then the other side is a different colour. It's incredible. Wow. 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 Look at that tiny, tiny, tiny quilted. Wow. Amazing. Love that one. Oh, look at that. That looks like um, Damon or Everidge, but in ostrich form. Oh, Dame of Australia. I bet that was the idea. I bet it was like Dame Edna Everidge, but in ostrich form. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's a nice one too. Wow. All the little fish. Applicade on. Gorgeous. I like that one. Tell it with flowers, Chantal Guilame. Guillemet? Guilame? Not sure. Contemporary quilts. Wow, that's interesting. Cinderella and the Ugly Sisters by Beverly Rebello. That's really interesting, isn't it? There's loads of embellishments on there. Really creative. If I tried something like this, it would look like a dog's dinner. But this lady obviously just has an eye for how you add all of these embellishments and just make it work. Because <laughs> if I did it, it wouldn't look right. But it, it all fits together really well and it gives great texture to the quilts. So I'm guessing she's Cinderella. And they're the ugly sisters. <laughs> I love it. Jenny Doan is here from Missouri Star Quilt Company and you can just probably hear her voice now she's doing her show in here and we can't we can't see in just see if we can have a quick peek we have and there she is. There she is. So it's sold out, so we can't go in. But hopefully, at the end of the show, she will. She's going to be meeting people. My camera focus. I'm going to try and sneak in if I can and see if I can get a photograph with Jenny. Um. You never know, we might get lucky. Let's see. See you later on when it finishes.
Okay, so this year, the theme of the, uh, the kind of the show from the Quilters Guild is this 40. This year marks the 40th anniversary of the Quilters Guild and four decades of collecting for the Quilters Guild Museum collection. So this, these are all quilts from the collection. So this is the House Blocks quilt, which was made in 1978 to 1979. So this is about the same age as me, so it's about 42. 40, 42. Nineteen sixty hexagons. Very sixties looking, isn't it? The Jubilee quilt made in eighteen eighty seven by Anne Mills. Wow. Look at that. It was made by Anne Mills of Crook in County Durham. Look at that, wow. Just look at all that hand stitching. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that lovely? Mm. These. Oh, look at all these doggy faces. Uh, I love the fox. Look at the fox. Oh, look at the fox. And the hair. Oh. Wow, look at this one. The willow pattern. The willow plate. Oh, there's a lot of work in that one. We did the um, story behind the willow pattern at school when I was at school for a school play. And I played the part of Ping Mo. I can't really remember much about it because I was only about 10. But that looks painted. It is. It's painted. Wow. That. Wow. That is gorgeous. Okay, so we are now entering the winner's gallery. So these are the winners of each individual category. So this is traditional quilts. Wow. It's lovely. So this is Pennsylvania by Gwenfel Reese Griffiths. I see some hand quilted stitches there. And maybe that's one of the reasons it won. Because it's hand quilted and that applique looks hand uh, applique as well, needle turn. Wow. Amazing. We've been spotted in the past. 
well let's have a look now we've got winner of the art quilt category oh wow that is nice look at that that's incredible yes so it looks like applique um i don't know i'm assuming some paint with it being an art quilt um, and metallic threads wow so this is called vertex by betty busby it's incredible so let's go around the other side and what have we got we have the winner of modern quilts which is this one Fractured Circles by Robin Fahey. It's interesting. I like the gold. The quilting is really nice as well. Very nice. And around this side we have the winner of the group quilts. Wow. That is a big quilt. So it is Cowslip Workshops and it's called Over the Hills and Far Away. have a little close-up look oh look at the fabric I have a feeling this fabric may be kind of like influenced how the whole quilt went because this is hills and animals and then we have all animals and flowers around the edge wow that is lovely Very good. Okay, let's go on to the two person quilt. So, this is the winner of the two person quilt Mary Palmer and Anne Keeley. Who will tell the bees? Oh, I love that quilt on that cow there. Well, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Very arty as well. This is the winner's gallery of the Quilters Guild Challenge. Oh, it was the whole 40. It had to be 40, so this is 40 shades of green. Oh wow, that is gorgeous. By Juana Castaneda Romero. I'm, I'm, I don't speak Spanish, but the name of the quilt is De Oriente a Occidente La Mas. I don't know what that means, unfortunately. <laughs> but it's a swan. It's okay. Wow. A reflected swan in the water. That is absolutely gorgeous. If she's used, it looks like she's used metallic threads as well. That is absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And 
The miniature quilt. Oh, this is the winner of miniature quilts. Sandra Newton embraced this day. Oh, look how tiny it looks on the massive wall. <laughs> That's so cute. Just this is about 10 inches square. This quilt, and it's absolutely teeny tiny. And it says, Chase your sorrow back beyond the dawn about, I can't read that, can you read that? That says there, uh, oh now the rising Oops. No, I can't see it. Embrace the day. <gasps> Look at those tiny, tiny little cross stitches here. Amazing. Look at that. Look at those tiny stitches. Wow, those stitches, I just put my nail in for scale. They are tiny. Tiny bits of fabric, yeah. Oh gosh, yeah. That's amazing. Wow. Oh, I've just spotted these fabric panels. Oh my word. Oh, chihuahuas. Oh, I love chihuahuas. I've got a little chihuahua. Oh, the elephant's nice as well. Oh, <gasps> look at the little cheese. Oh, they're so cute. Sorry for that digress, but I go a bit mad when I see chihuahuas. Um, contemporary quilts. So this is Fractal by Claudia Fell. Wow. Now I do like that. Wow, wow, wow. Again, sparkles, glitter. So it certainly seems to be a bit of a theme this year. Uh, you can capture the sparkles on the screen. Look at the quilting on this one. Wow. I think she's used paints as well, maybe. Gosh, there's thousands and thousands of those diamantes on here. Wow. There is hours of work in this quilt. Absolutely hours. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this is a sewing quarter studio, so I'm assuming that they're going to start filming soon. 1.30. Oh. Oh, 2 p.m. Sewing quarter live with Kay Fassett, who I believe is there. I think that's Kay Fassett. He's famous in the quilting world. So it looks like he's about to go on stage and do some presenting or something like that. We are in the queue to meet Jenny Doan. So I'm very so we did just meet Jenny Doan. Um, I'll put the photographs in here. Um, she was really yeah. um, she was really lovely, and she said I was darling, which was really cute because that's her phrase that she always uses. 
Um, so that was really nice to meet Jenny. I've watched her videos for such a long time. Um, and I've got so many ideas from her. So that was really nice to meet her. Um, we've finished our day here now. Uh, it's been a really nice day as always. Um, I can really recommend it if you have ever have the opportunity to come. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, as always, I will carry on vlogging any of the cult shows that I go to. And thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.